Welcome to the vlog. Today we are making banana bread. And it's in the most superior bread. Sorry, pumpkin. You're seasonal. Banana bread is for life. So today I'm gonna be showing y'all a little tutorial on how I make banana bread. Specifically, this is for Valentine's Day. This is also days later after Valentine's Day. But I have this cute little heart box that I'm gonna put them in. I am putting them in these molds and they're hearts. So I'm giving these to my boyfriend Luke because these like he begs me to make these all the time. So come along and let's start. I want to make a disclaimer about the bangs. They're not working anymore. If I could just cut them off, I would do that because no matter what I do, it looks like I'm in the 80s and I want to start a boy band. Oh, I have to put a hat on. Okay, the first step, get your own salted butter. It's a half cup, a half cup softened butter and two thirds cup sugar and two lightly beaten eggs. You can't give me so many directions all at once. I get overwhelmed. Can you just go step by step? This is half. This is half a cup. So, okay, we just need this then. Okay, cool. Soften. Does that mean like microwaved or like room temperature? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna microwave it for a little bit. Okay, while the butter is melting in the microwave, we need two thirds cup sugar. It's cute. Okay, hold up. Slightly beaten eggs. Before I pour them in or after? Can I beat them in the bowl? I have the eggs out. Ooh. Can I do it at the same time, you think? Okay, all the shells. Okay, that one's good. Wait, um, I washed my hands like a million times, please. <laughs> Martha, who's that? It's only Angelica. So I'm beating together the sugar and the eggs. It should look like this. As if I, I know what. Okay. I think I'm running around too much. Okay. And then we're gonna pour the butter in. Oh yeah. Okay. Just dump it in. The whole stick. And then we beat that too. Oh my gosh, that is so satisfying. And she's smooth and buttery. These are gonna be so good. Here's another shot. <laughs> okay. <gasps> this is strenuous. Okay. These aren't brown enough, but this was last minute. So <laughs> these are the brownest I could find at the store. People put three or four. Was it three? I feel like it was four, but we'll see. And oh my god, usually they're really soft and these are like, these are pure, like these are ready to eat and not to be eaten with banana bread. So I don't know how that's gonna change the taste. Okay, grab the biggest fork you could find and just mash them in here. In this recipe on Pinterest, it said to mash them before, girl. We are not having multiple bowls. This is a one bowl show, ladies. If a recipe or like, a, like an actual meal that I had to cook is in more than one bowl or pan, I'm not making it. It has to be able to fit into one. So I can only clean one pan. I'm not doing the whole four pans on a stove at once. Are you kidding? My sanity cannot handle. So I'm just mashing. Now we're gonna add vanilla extract. Did this expire? And we will never know. Teaspoon, but <clears throat> girl, it's vanilla, okay? You can never have too much. Just a little dash, okay? Okay, you're gonna mix that in there. Oh, it smells so good. And then you're gonna have a half teaspoon of salt. Same thing, you just kind of eyeball it. We don't got time for measurements, okay? So like, I don't know, that much? Do you see? If it smells good and tastes good, that means you did it right. This is the consistency I had. It's said to make it look like applesauce. Does that look like applesauce? Wow. 
looks like popcorn. Uh, one and a half cups flour. I have my flour in this little container. Uh, to make sure it's flour, I always sniff it. And if it smells like pizza, uh, then it's flour. If it smells sweet, baking powder. We are gonna have one and a half cups. Just fill her out, pour it in there. About half. Okay, guys, we got this. One teaspoon baking soda. That's right. <laughs> I feel like this one need a measure. Teaspoon? Well, it's like a little spoon. This is a tablespoon. With all the ingredients, mix her up, girl. We did, did we do salt? I don't want that much. You see? Wait, I feel like we did. Or was that sugar? No, wait. Wait, I need to slow down. Okay, that was all the ingredients, but isn't this a little thick? Oh, yes. So what would I put in it to make it more liquidy? Should I add milk? Milk is not in the recipe, except for a reason. I might add it. I think I'm going to. If you really think about it, butter and milk are like the same thing, but butter is a solid. So in theory, it's kind of like adding more butter. And we melted that, so that was basically milk. You know what I mean? Just gotta... Just to make it a little more liquidy. Is this gonna be the downfall? Oh, that looks just, it just looks so much better. Okay, look at this consistency, guys. Wow. Oh yeah, that is. And we're gonna add walnuts. You know, I was never a big walnuts fan, but in banana bread, anything could happen. Anything's good. Hello? We're gonna add the walnuts in. And do I know how many to put? Whatever your heart decides. No. Are you out of breath? That poor bite. That's a good amount, I think. Not too much. Now it's time for the heart pan. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. I would always make um, cookies in here and they'd be like heart shaped cookies. Oh my gosh. And I was obsessed. So now we have heart shaped banana bread. You get one of these little spoons and just scoop them. I still think this is a little thick. I wonder if I put too much. I didn't put too much flour. Oh, maybe I did. Because I did use a full cup instead of a half when I eyeballed it. Scooper. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. What's the important part? Oh my gosh. This is such a rookie mistake. Spray your pans so they don't stick. They would have been catastrophe. And now we can pour. Okay, and then just pour it in there. Have I made banana bread in these uh, molds? No. So I don't know how the process of it cooking will be. I honestly couldn't tell you. Will they cook all the way through? Will they burn? Will they be raw? I think that's the beauty of the journey that we just don't know what's gonna happen after this. They've been following me step by step, and now I'm telling you. And I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm filling these up too high. Don't fill them up high. If you uh, don't have a heart pan uh, and have a regular one, just fill it like halfway. Maybe even less than halfway. So they don't overflow. I'll finish this off camera stain forever and then I'll bring you back. Guys, here we have it. Filled up the whole tin. They're so cute. They smell good. I would totally put chocolate chips in them. I would smother them in chocolate chips to where it's just chocolate that you taste. But as in Luke's words, a banana bread is not banana bread if there is chocolate chips in it. So it's not fun is what you're saying. It still should be good, but I personally would add chocolate chips if you don't have a picky client slash boyfriend. You know what I mean? Um, did my hair cut that, please? Um, the rest I just filled in this cupcake tray. We're gonna pop them in for like, and it says an hour. Ooh, but these are small. It's not like a thick loaf of bread. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and I'll let y'all know how long it is. And now we wait. One hour. 
hour. It's over. It's all good then. Oof. So as we wait, I'm actually gonna wrap the heart box in foil because if we don't, then the cannoli oil cannoli oil oh my God. will seep through the bottom of this cardboard box and that will be aesthetic and cute and that is what we're going for. So I'm just gonna give up this guy. Just push. We're just gonna push it down. Okay. Wait, it's kinda cute. <gasps> Why is this kinda cute? It's like making a heart shape. Guys. Wait, I have one more part. Guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, actually so cute. Take a look at that. Wow. I did that. I did. What are you gonna do about it? You're welcome for this gift idea because you can give them something, an object, a video game, a baseball, maybe some nice shoes, but they'll never be as happy as getting food. And I will guarantee that. Even if the food lasts maybe a day or two, they'll still, that initial immediate serotonin boost, it's gonna trump anything else that you could've gave them. But, if someone gives you a heart-shaped box of banana bread, which is also heart-shaped, you can't eat it. So you're welcome for all the relationships I just saved. Guys, I did not like prepare for this. It's only been 20 minutes and I think they're done. They're pretty brown, so we're just gonna find out. These ones look like they could keep going, but the heart ones, they're red ones. But they better be, they're really brown. Wait, do you see these? They're so brown. Oh my god, okay, no, these could keep going. The cupcake ones? If they're baked all the way through, revolutionary. I need a toothpick of some sort. Because if they're cooked all the way through, that means we didn't have to wait a whole hour until they were done. It literally took like 20 minutes. And that would solve world hunger for people who want banana bread really fast. The test is here. Toothpick ready. Will she come out wet? <laughs> Clean. Oh my gosh, can we get these on the rack so they can cool? Oh. I think I just solved everything. This is the moment of truth to see if they came out good. I just gotta get like a little spatula. Like I just gotta, I wash my hands guys, don't trip. <gasps> Wait, they look, they, <gasps> oh my god. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you ready to see the back? Oh, uh, anyway, okay, guys, they worked. Oh my gosh, wait, oh my gosh, so cute. And they were done in 20 minutes. Guys, that's the best part. The other ones are still in there because they're not as brown. But these are so cute. I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. I wanna show you how well even the cupcake ones came out. Even if you don't have a heart-shaped pan, you can still do this. Oh. Don't look at that. But look at the overall, like, come on. It's so hot, I just took it out of the oven. But like, it's a cute little, your own personal banana bread bun. You kidding? Maybe a little shimmy on each side just to make sure nothing sticks. <gasps> See? <gasps> oh my gosh. This one's perfect. That's a little bun. That is a little bun. She is so cute. Now that we have time for them to cool down, it's time to actually put them in the box. So, is there a strategy? Uh, yes, make it look cute. Make it look cute and aesthetic, like something you would find on Pinterest. This is gonna be on Pinterest, guys. Watch, and y'all know where it came from. I made this idea up. 
I made up heart-shaped baked goods. It's gonna be a trend and it's gonna pop off. But you know it looks cute. <laughs> My gosh. Guys, this looks like a, the Chick-fil-A heart-shaped nugget box. The best thing literally invented. the video it was so fun having y'all along with me i never baked with a phone filming me before so it was a good first time and if you want more baking videos guys i'm always down to bake i'm a baking queen obviously this was like freestyle and it came out great um, until next time this was fun until next valentine's do this okay love y'all and have a great rest of the day, of the season, of the year. Also, I'll like just show y'all pictures of like him receiving it and see if he likes it. Or in like his taste test. We'll get that at the end, but bye for now.